YouTube, this is Swagger of 808 and today I have a review on your on the HK USP. This is a CO2 non bow pack gun. Um it shoots around 320 to 370 and it's probably your next step from either a high end springer if there's such a thing and a low end CO2. Alright, now this gun is mostly polymer, uh, polymer slide, polymer lower uh, receiver and polymer trigger guard and other assortments, the polymer sights with your um, white dot things on those. Um, the metal parts of this gun, you have your mag release, trigger, um, metal internals, it's kind of hard to see but they're in there. It gives the gun a good weight and you have some of the features of the gun. You have a rail right here, I'm not sure what kind of rail it's called but it's a rail. Uh, you have your normal pistol grip. It's got this little pointy stuff. It's kind of it looks uncomfortable, but when you get your hand on there, you're not moving it. You're you're pretty set to go. Now about the mag. This is also a polymer mag, like the gun. Uh, it's CO2, so that means your CO2 is going to be in the mag. It doesn't go in the handguard. It goes in the mag. So I'll show you how to put it in. I'm not actually going to be taking it out because it will lose all its CO2 even though it's already dying but you would have your allen wrench to unscrew this little uh, thing that holds it in that's what it's called but yeah and you're gonna unscrew it it says open and close it will tell you how to do that um, so you're gonna have your allen wrench you're gonna undo it take out your old CO2 recycle it do whatever you want to do with it put in the new and then screw it in when you're screwing this in, it's going to make a little whistling noise, so you're going to make sure you're going to screw it really fast so you don't lose any of your CO2, and it's still good CO2, and it's not going to be all waste. So back to the gun. Um, obviously, to insert your magazine, just pop back in. Pull your safety down, which I forgot to mention is polymer, and then you're set to go. Um, this is a low CO2, so it's not that high of a FPS currently. And so that's the bottom line. Use your yeah. Um. So the bottom line, this gun is a very good gun. I recommend it for beginner airsofters. Not as a primary, definitely as a secondary. Um. Even intermediate players, you can use this as a secondary. I mean, I do, but I mean, I'm not that high end of an airsofter. And um. Yeah. So that's all for this review on this H&K USP. Uh, look in the description for the shooting test of this gun and uh, comment, rate, subscribe, like, and yeah. See ya. Thanks for watching. Bye.